Good morning, my loves. Welcome to Vlogtober, day seven. This morning, I'm opening the vlog, power walking to my new house. Oh, I can't breathe, what am I thinking? So my dad's meeting us there and we're running a little bit late. Yeah, we're gonna show him around. I've got the architectural drawings, the kind of mock-ups that the architect first showed us, basically just to give us an idea of what the options were. I covered up a spot on my forehead and then it discolored and now it looks even worse than if I hadn't covered it up. So what am I saying? So I'll maybe show you guys those if I have a minute today, but obviously I'm gonna be chatting to my dad about stuff and maybe having a little walk around the area so I don't know if I'll have time to show you guys through those today but I will certainly do it today or tomorrow. Hi everybody. I spent some time with my dad, went for coffee. He's now gone but we've come back to the house because um, I thought I would show you these drawings today. These are the kind of first looks at what the space might be like. We don't like any of the finishes or anything. It's really not what it's going to look like but it will give you an idea of what the, how the space will be transformed. So obviously, as you may remember, we've got this nice double reception room and we're gonna to extend to the side, so where this door is, it's gonna be inside all the way down to the end of the building. Move a little bit further back. So yeah, come and look at the, some of the mock-ups. Okay, so we had a couple of options. Uh, these are ones we're not using. So don't say you like them loads because <laughs> we're not using them. So basically, obviously we've got that front living room and then there's that space and we've got the double reception room in this space. So one of the options was obviously to basically get rid of that second half of the room and create a much bigger living space with, and obviously there's a drop in height. So here you would have like a kitchen cabinet that would also up here become like a desk, if that makes sense. You kind of like have half a room at the original level and then it would drop into the kitchen. So yeah, that would be the desk up there. That would be some of the kitchen cabinets have a kitchen at this end, dining room, and then yeah, like a second living space. So that's one. that was one of the options that they gave us. The other option, um, similarly kind of getting rid of this second room, was to actually, obviously we've got a basement downstairs. We don't, well, we might end up actually doing it, but excavating in a basement to make it a bigger height is obviously a faff. This option, um, would have helped us use some of that space by essentially just dropping the level of the second room. I don't know if this is making any sense. So again, we'd end up with a bigger, just a much bigger living space. This one needs done a book wall. Um, we've got the island and then the dining room um, table. Again, that would give us a bigger space. However, so, however, this is the plan that we liked the best, and it's actually happened to be the one that the architect liked the best as well. Um, we like the double reception room. It's a classic feature of the house. Um, all of the houses have it, and it's just nice. Like, I like the look of it. It looks like an old Victorian house, and we don't want to change that too much, even though it obviously would give us more living space down in the kitchen area. So... They've currently designated it a playroom. I have no idea why. Um, but we do want to kind of connect the two spaces. Yeah, have this as a library room. Keep it kind of as it is now. We'll have this wall back in. Um, they've taken it out in these. Um, if you can see up here, they've actually taken it out so that you can see more into the kitchen. But I think we'll just keep it um, because we want space for books, obviously, and a place to put a sofa. Um, and it will make it feel more like a room. But one thing we are going to have is these two kind of windows down into the kitchen space. If you can see, you can see them on the floor pan. So you can basically, so you'll be able to look through into the kitchen space. It will hopefully bring a little bit of light back into these rooms because currently, particularly this room is probably our darkest room in the house. So hopefully um, as the sun comes in, we'll be able to bring some light back in. And obviously there'll be a big window over on this side of the house, as you can see here, that'll be the side extension, what's currently out in the open. Um, and yeah, so I don't know if that's made any sense. I know when my mum tries to explain 
floor plans and stuff to me. I have no idea what's happening. But essentially, yeah, so we'll have this side, we'll have a window over the top. Um, you'll be able to see through from the library room into this room and also from this room, which I think will be quite nice, you'll be able to see the book walls, which I think will be nice. Anything else to say? So we were kind of toying, I mean, in terms of finishes and stuff, this is all gonna look completely different. We're probably going to have a wood effect floor, ceramic, um, exposed brick. I, we have never really liked the kind of white boxiness that extensions have. So we're probably going to have exposed steels. Um, we're not going to have floor to ceiling covers, which means our, um, our skylights can be a lot kind of longer. We're going to have just low cupboards and shelving above. And we will have an island, probably won't be concrete, I don't know, and we're probably going to have reclaimed wood on the counters. So yeah, it's going to look completely different, but it should give you an idea of the space. It's going to look, I hope, um, a little bit more natural to the house than this currently looks. And obviously, yeah, then one of the nicest features, we've got this little window seat. Oh, so let's do the back of the house. So this was option number one. Um, this is obviously a window um, and this is like a sliding door situation. However, we prefer, we prefer this one. This is our kind of final design idea really for this. And I love the staggered brick that they've done here. Zach wasn't so sure about it initially. Um, I think because it's quite hard to visualize it, like it looks really flat here and you can't really see how the light will hit it. When we went to see, they've got, yeah, VR, in the architect's office and when we went to see it it looked just looks really dynamic I think and it looks like it frames the window beautifully so basically what we've chosen is to have a big frameless window which I think is always gorgeous to have loads of glass and um, the window seat will be there that enables you to have the window seat which is a really lovely feature and then we're gonna have a door so um, yeah so you kind of lose the ability to open the whole kitchen up to the outside. However, I love the lack of frame on this window. I honestly just think it looks beautiful whenever I see like something frameless like that. Yeah, it allows us to have the window seat, etc., etc. And love the brickwork. And we'll probably maybe we'll try some, I don't know, I quite like it kind of minimal, but I also think I might try some plants and stuff, possibly along the top, but certainly kind of along the bottom here just to soften the look a little bit. Um, and obviously it probably won't be concrete either. But yeah, so that's kind of what we went for instead of being able to open it all out. Um, you know, we considered things like crittle and stuff. Apparently it's no less expensive these days to use crittle. So um, yeah, we like big panes of glass. I love the look of crittle. I just think there's only certain types that I like. And I think this is a little bit more unusual, like a little bit more. <laughs> Everyone does a side extension and everything. so. It's, it's hardly completely unusual for a London house, but I just think it adds a bit more something unique. Hi guys, so I'm back and I'm gonna edit Vlogtober now. Um, so I hope that my explanations at the house made sense. I'm sorry if they didn't. I'm gonna light my candle, um, which always helps when I'm editing. So yeah, rest of the day, Zach and I have kind of planned-ish what we're gonna do, at least for today. Um, and I'm gonna go to a hit class. Um, I'm burning Bice, Bice by Diptyque. I haven't burned this one very well because I kind of kept blowing it out too early. I'm gonna go to a hit class later on. I would usually do Pilates on a Monday morning or former Pilates. I obviously went to see my dad and I usually go at, about, I usually go at nine, but my dad was coming to the house at 10. I think I might do Pilates tomorrow and a run tomorrow. Kind of looking forward to getting back into my gym routine because obviously last week I didn't do much of it. I did do my PT sessions, but that was it really. I'm not very good at doing it whilst I'm away. I'm pretty much into the whole gym thing now, fully. Couldn't imagine not doing it. But the one thing I haven't really mastered is doing it when I'm away, when we're traveling, then it really is not top of my list, which is also okay. Sometimes it's good to have a break as well. 
Um, I'm just deciding what ref what reformer to go to tomorrow. Let's go with the one at eight thirty. Mm, or the one at seven thirty. Let's go with the one at seven thirty because it's also forty five minutes instead of an hour, and I prefer those. <laughs> I find reformer Pilates so hard. I've got quite small weak wrists, and I find. Um, that obviously a fair amount of Pilates requires like strong shoulders and wrists so obviously it's great because it's making me a bit stronger but um, it's also not great because it's painful for me <laughs> and I find it really difficult um, but I guess if you find it difficult then it's working so so yeah looking forward to getting back into my gym routine this week anyway but yes as I said normally I would go on a Monday morning to Pilates didn't go this morning I have cut down on my spin in favour of running although I haven't been that successful yet with the whole running thing but I think it's going to be better cardio for me in the long term because you can do it anywhere in the world um, and I think it's probably more effective because I am finding the spin classes a little bit easier these days um, I know I should just push myself harder but because it's not it's like music based spin as opposed to like performance based spin which is more fun um, but it does mean that you kind of end up not pushing yourself quite as hard as you could because you're always going to the beat or whatever um... <laughs> What a shitty chain I don't know, ooh, I was talking about my exercise routine but I've completely lost my train of thought anyway, right so but the plan is I'm on like two PT. This is the plan. I haven't actually achieved it yet with the whole new running thing. Two PT, one Pilates, one hit, two running, one spin. Does that make sense? That seems like a lot. Probably why I haven't achieved it yet. So that's the idea anyway. I don't know if that's achievable. I probably have gone for a run today. Stop. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog now. I'm going to stop chatting because I need to use this memory card that I'm chatting to you on to edit today's vlog. Um, what did I do? What did we do yesterday? I've already forgotten. You guys, I'm beginning to lose my mind, I've got to say. I'm like, I think because the weekend wasn't really like a super relaxing weekend. I'm oh, just, I just feel like, yeah, I'm like wired. Uh great stuff great stuff Alex is back my favorite spin instructor's back Zach what am I saying <laughs> I'm gonna hate myself when I edit this bit we've just tried connecting to the Leica app and we're not impressed okay I think there's something going on with the Q and the Q2 it doesn't work with the app which is kind of defeats the purpose of it being like an on-the-go item I do have one of those things that connects to your phone and the memory card However, it's not my ideal way of transferring pictures. Zach's gonna go into the Leica shop and have a see if they can ha if they have a fix for a <laughs> for that. And if they don't, well, I'm not impressed, you guys. This is nine minutes of footage. I've been very naughty. I've done something that I'm trying to do much, 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 much less. But it's been a bit of a hectic day so far. Um, so I ordered some food. Also on Mondays there tends to be no leftovers or nothing in the fridge, so forgive me. Forgive me. I ordered Leon. Um, I just got myself a halloumi wrap. Um, so I'm going to eat that in bed, as you can see, because it's just that kind of day. I finished editing the vlog. Just doing description boxes and stuff. I'm gonna chill and eat my lunch because I'm hungry. Hi guys. So this <laughs> is the aftermath of some serious cramps. I did not go to my hit class. <laughs> yeah, the day went rapidly downhill uh, after I finished after I had my lunch, which was really late. To be fair, anyway, I'm like, oh my god, half the day went. But actually, I think I had that food at about half three or something maybe even later and then I started getting some bad cramps so I decided or oh, I'd take one of my special pills go to sleep and wake up before my hit class and hopefully we should be sorted but I woke up and I was and it was worse than ever so I then 
yeah, I've done all sorts. Of, I've taken all sorts of pills since then, um, which probably shouldn't have done. I did take some paracetamol and codeine, which, great. But anyway, the pain has finally waned. I need to take this off my face. I know it's terrible. So yeah, didn't didn't go to my class, which I'm really annoyed about for many reasons. I hate when I skip classes or skip a part of my exercise routine. I obviously didn't do Pilates this morning either. And I always just feel like a big slob when I don't go to things. But yeah, it was bad, you guys, it was bad. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm over it now. <gasps> anyway, Indy has been an angel. She brought me those pills, obviously, and then she also made brought my dinner up for me. She is a wonderful sister. So guys, I was treating myself from catching up with Bake Off and just having a little relax. Sorry about the light in here, as always. Multiple of these ceiling lights are out. Um, so that's why I'm not filming much in my bathroom at the minute anyway. Um, but I thought I would just take this <laughs> cried off makeup off. So Zach went to the Leica shop and figured out how to, well, he just was fiddling around basically and got the Roika app to work with his phone and now with my phone as well. So that's useful. You may have noticed, by the way, um, I reckon yesterday's vlog was probably, it's probably occurring to a few more of you that um, Zach is obviously not chefing at the moment. So some of you may know or remember, I can't remember how much I spoke about it, but Zach was invited by his head chef to join him at a new restaurant that wasn't open. So at the beginning of um, spring kind of, his head chef invited him to join him at this new place. And so he essentially had a few months off over summer um, between his jobs. So he could kind of make the most of the holiday season. He kind of came and helped me out a lot more basically, just um, not just with pictures and stuff, but with everything. And then he went back to work, um, and I think we both swiftly realised that um, we really enjoyed ourselves over summer, just working alongside each other a little bit more. You know, we had the house stuff to think about and everything now, and there were a few big projects coming up, and I particularly struggled because I think it's really hard once you go from being one person working by yourself basically to then having someone helping you and then going back to the one woman show I was like how did I ever do this no wonder I got so much less done um, like I really need help um, I'm not in a position at the moment where I could have kind of hired someone um, because obviously we've got the house and got the renovation and stuff and that's quite a big responsibility obviously so yeah, so we both kind of realised that it really worked out well over summer and um, I invited Zach slash begged him to come back and join me and team up with me and basically just work together with me on the business at the moment. I think he enjoys it as well. Um, although he really enjoys being a chef um, and it's something that I definitely think he will go back to um, for the moment, it just made the most sense, what with the house and everything, it just, for us at the moment, it makes sense to team up and work together on this, um, to work together on these big projects that we've got going on, um, and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, so he's going to be around a lot more, and I honestly couldn't be happier, I'm um, just loving it. It's great to have someone help me out with stuff. Um, and also to bounce ideas off and I'm much more creative when I can kind of talk to him and also obviously for it to be Zach is just ideal for me. But yeah, it's not the end of being a chef for Zach. He's a wonderful um, chef. This is what's happening right now. It is time for me to sleep. Just had a relaxing evening. Been catching up on some programs, watched the first RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Um, which I enjoyed, watched some grand designs. So that's it for today. Um, I will see you again tomorrow uh, for more Vlogtober.